back to another video so i have this timu free wig i got this as my free gift basically i had to like send give i had to get like six people to make an account and sign up and download the app for your free gift within 24 hours and i got this 20 inch wig i'll show y'all the knots are hella thick it's hella thick it's very soft it doesn't smell good fresh out the pack it didn't smell good it came with a wig cap so i got this wig. And I got this. okay the bleach i use is this one and this developer 30 developer and you know i just use a plastic one Bone bowl. Okay, knots are bleached. I was checking the scalp actually earlier. I left it on for like 15, no, 25 minutes. And now I'm about to rinse it out. I'll show y'all the knots bleached really good on this wig. Like, boom, y'all see that? So then I'll go on in with this on the lace only. And then shampoo and conditioner y'all know but y'all look at the lace it's very thick and full but these knots bleached really well look like better than wigs from most of my other wigs because usually i had to leave most of my other wigs on for like 30 45 minutes but dang this is only 25 minutes in 15 minutes most of the knots was bleached but i saw a little bit of black not so I left it on for another 10. Oh yeah, this already be scalping. So initially washing it, it's not tangling up, so I'm happy. This is how the water looks. It's, it could be worse. I've seen worse. This hair, I think this might be really, it's shutting. So that's the only thing, that's the only complaint I have about this hair, it shuts. Like, and you can see, like, the buildup, like, on the hair is dirty right there. But, yeah, I'm going to just rinse it out. I usually like the only shampoo once. And just rinse out the rest. So, yeah. The knots bleached very well. So, I'm still not, I'm still not the best at plucking. Okay, so I plucked the wig a lot. I cut off a little bit of the lace because it was in my way. I didn't put any um, foundation on it. So I would say the hair is pretty good. It shuts, but other than that, I like the curls and I like the texture. But the lace is very thick. I don't like this lace. It's not a good lace. Like, it's thick. It don't feel good. I don't like it. <laughs> now, I cut off the little piece. Here is it transparent. Like, no makeup on the glue. And here is it with makeup. So, like, from far away, it's, like, darker right here because I was applying it directly to it. But... From far away, this could pass, but it's not ideal for me. So, I'm going to put some foundation. I still don't know what kind of part I want to do. I plucked it a lot, y'all. I don't know if I over plucked it or if I didn't pluck it enough. But I'm at the point where I don't even care anymore. Middle part, maybe. I swear I always overpluck the middle part. Like right here. I always overplug it right here. I use the Ruby Kisses cream foundation. This one, I use the darker side. This one is in RDI 15. So I use that on the lace and you know, underneath the knots. 
um to style it to get these curls looking like this i trimmed off a little bit i didn't i didn't do it evenly i just trimmed off the tiniest amount because the thing i hate about curly hair is like the hair be good until you get to the ends and it be real dry and i like that so i just trimmed off a little bit because this is my first time wearing it and i'm not trying to lose a lot of length so of course i wet the hair like every color uh, curly hair what it and i use these two products it was very wet so i used this curls creme brulee curling cream i love the way it smell it smells so good i like using this on my natural hair so that's why it's so gone and then i use the meow rice water it's like a hydrating thing it's moisturizing milk so i use that on there after that I actually did a TikTok, y'all want to see. And after I did all that, I wetted some more. Put my fingers through. And I used this. Nairobi. Oh, no, no. It's not Nairobi. Moves. This is Lotta Body, but it's in a Nairobi bottle. So a lot of Body moves on the hair. And then I used a diffuser and I diffused it. Yeah. And look at the curls, y'all. It just looked better from when I first wet it. When I wetted it, when I first wet it, I didn't like it. It looked alright, but this is, this is, yeah, I like this more. It's fuller, more volume, curlier. It doesn't look like it just got wet with water. So now I'm cutting the lace. I'm doing this install different from how I usually do my installs because I'm not, I'm not using glue on this install. So I just want to use, I think I'm going to use got to be because I don't know. I just don't want to use glue on this wig. After I tested the glue strand, the glue, the glue on my hand and I didn't like it, I was like, yeah, no. So that's why I'm cutting the, um, the lace off first because in my opinion, it's easier to use the spray when the lace is already cut. And I usually like using a smaller razor, but I can't find it, only can find this big one, so. I don't know, like doing the size for my wig, putting it right here, it's like, uh, I don't have a low hairline in this sense, but on the sides, I do. Okay, so I'm about to go out. I just did like, look at this little edge. That's how my hair is gonna be. In person, the lace looks better. Right. Let me see. 
my makeup turned out good. 